hey you guys welcome back to my channel this is going to be part two of the Krishan live but before i get into that we had more things came out because right after her she did that live the next day which was last night blueface and Krishan stayed the night together and she went live just to show y'all they stayed the night together so before i played that live the finish the second part of that live i'm gonna play y'all this part and then he came back and tried to debunk it like he wasn't with her so i'm gonna play y'all that too and then i'm gonna play y'all what carlissa had to say here come her again talking about how i told you i try to warn you that type of stuff like she always do so i'm gonna play y'all those three videos and then i'm gonna go straight into the second part of the live krishan did before 20 what it's about to go to 60 right there All right, then we can go in the morning. <laughs> what? <laughs> so after Krishan went live for like a little bit just to show that little piece, somebody said not for Krishan to be going back and forth on Twitter with Blue, just for her to go live for 30 seconds this morning and be in a bay with Blueface. Then Nikki at night had commented. She said, she read y'all comments, see what y'all want her to do, and repeat it and play y'all every time. She only be away from Blue because Blueface makes her be away. When he lets her back, she goes just like the BM. They are both the same. And another person was like, when does Krishan become responsible for her own life? Y'all got to stop making excuses for this adult. So Hollywood Unlocked had captioned it. Well, Krishan Rock is back with Blueface just hours after she seemed to have finally put her foot down. And Blueface was like, that ain't me. What the F? So then here comes Miss Carlos to come seemingly responding to her going back to Blueface. But to me, her whole talk ain't had nothing to do with nothing, really. But I'm going to play y'all that little piece. And y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole situation in the comment section below. And I might have to do a part three of Krishan's live because I don't want this video to be so long. And it's already looking like it's about 40 minutes long. So I'm going to probably narrow that live down because I had added this part in it that I wasn't, you know, supposed to add in it. This just came up today. So, like I say, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. And I'll decide if I do a part three. And y'all please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if y'all like content like this. Y'all think we not holding them accountable. We wouldn't be here if we wasn't holding them accountable. Okay? I'm Krishan's protagonist. They looking for me, her antagonist. They looking for me this morning to help them with that show. I'm helping them anyway. I'm going to leave my two cents so they can go and keep posting it and keep making it work. Because I want it to work for her. I don't have nothing against her other than if this was Callie, this will be my same response. Why you didn't listen to me? Why? I'm a whole mama out here, transparent than more than any mother, any celebrity, any person on this internet. I'm going to tell you the truth. These fans clogged you up with that nonsense and that bullshit because they wanted you to be on that Section 8 waiting list right with them. What, what person would tell somebody, get a baby by somebody? Like, I've been trying to be her voice of reason because obviously there isn't one. You know what I'm saying? When you see people riding her and sucking on her, her titties, trying to, we don't do that over here. We don't do that for money over here. We've always had everything we need. Callie, Dre, me, Blue. I'm not finna rock with Blue if he wrong. I'm not finna rock with him if he wrong. That's what the whole problem been the whole time. If I just give in to what my son wanted from the beginning and give in to what Krishan wanted from the beginning, I would be probably rich by now. I wouldn't have to do my show myself. I wouldn't have to do all of this. If I would have just fell for the devil's trick with them, guess where I would be? I could have did this shit the easy way. I could have just condoned and all that bullshit that I could see that you couldn't see. And I could already be there. I could have just used them. But I, why would I use kids? Why would I use my own kids? I'm not going to use my kids and condoning them doing something wrong to get something out of it. 
I got this shit. <laughs> Me and Mr. Sappho got this shit. So I'm going to tell y'all right now. Don't say I'm mean to her. I'm being a mother to her. I'm being the same mother. What they wanted to do, they wanted to shut my mouth so they could run around and do that weird shit. But I exposed everything because I'm in the way. Because I keep shitting on shit that they don't want me to shit on. I told that girl the right thing to do. I told my son the right thing to do. They wouldn't be in this situation if they wouldn't have disregarded me. I got my ass whooped for trying to tell them the right thing to do. Can I get a fucking amen? Because I'm going to get one with or without you. We 11,000 subscribers up and happy 11. All 11 was happy this morning. Now they was a little mad because I was late. But they happy now that they see the trailer coming and I'm on my shit. Okay? Now I don't give a damn what y'all say. Them kids can't never, ever, ever. She going to be 35 doing whatever she doing in life. She going to say, you know what? That boy mama told me. She tried to tell me. I had the juice. She, she tried to tell me before I even got pregnant. I even whispered in her ear on that show when I hugged her. Y'all thought I was giving her a fake-ass hug for the show. I whispered in that baby's ear, and I said, you got the juice. You gonna lose the juice trying to play with vengeance. Don't lose the juice. I said, you got the juice. what she do? She ran right out, opened up her legs, parted that red sea and fucked up the juice just like i did now what young child y'all around here get you a baby get on get you a section eight come on now the baby didn't work for whitney it's like we watching a scary movie and the bitch forget to run like come on you guys stop trying to act like y'all didn't see all of this shit Okay, so here's the lie. We're cool. We're, we're very mutual. Um, I love him to death. Whatever the, ever the case may be, right? But my best times with him was me being pregnant and sober. And he's over in my space instead of me being in his space. Like when he, when, when we, when we see each other and shit and he's over here and he's over here like weeks at a time and shit and you see how he's just quiet online and I'm, but I've been, I've been in this positive field like in my life, like I don't want no negativity. Like I'm sorry that we had to end up like this, but I'm not sorry at all. I'm actually grateful. And we was able to like separate. I'm grateful to be living somewhere very nice till my house is ready, till my car is ready. Like I'm okay. I'm not homeless. I'm not like there's times when I'm like, yeah, I want to go home. Yeah, I miss you. But I don't miss being disrespected, cheated on, ran over, and I'm making money for you. Like it's just a ripoff. I might as well just be somewhere where I got a lot of peace at, and that's by myself. So that's what I was doing. That's what I'm doing. Like, okay, cool. Say say that I'm not over you or whatever, 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 whatever. I'm still okay. I'm still going over here handling my business, picking up my money. And nobody's telling me shit. Like, I'm okay. But I'm okay with being told. I'm okay with giving you everything. I'm okay with all that. But it's like, hold on. What the fuck is you even doing, though? You get what I'm saying? Like, what is you even doing, though? We ain't even cool enough to not be off line. We ain't even cool enough for you to not put another bitch in our, our argument. Okay. I name drop because I mean, we be in fucking bullshit ass arguments about motherfuckers that ain't even looking my way like that for real. And then I'm just looking at him like, yo, I'm not giving them money. I'm not giving them shit. I'm not giving them pussy. So what's the beef with us? And then you'd be like, you know, his ego be sh whatever. If you're annoying this shit, if you're annoying this shit, but I'm saying like,
he might not like what how things are. Like he was telling me, he was saying, I don't like how shit is. And I'm like, me either. I mean, the only thing I don't like about this is that I'm pregnant and I'd be like, oh, I would love that happy old family, right? But when you put your big girl drawers on and you be fucking grown and very real with yourself, you have to be okay with being alone and being like loved the way you want to be loved. So say if he felt like I wasn't loving him the way I was, I'm not no fucking maid, no fucking servant, bro. I can't just always kiss your feet. Then you gonna kiss mine. Like, right? oh, I'm, I'm okay. Okay. I don't know what the fuck. You know what I'm saying? So I was just trying to figure out why we beefing. Why is it so negative? Why everybody has to. And I ain't even throwing shots at nobody. I was just being honest. Like, oh, well, hold on. Back to my He like. I want to go back to what we was like, but you ain't did nothing for me to feel like we could ever go back to whatever. So I'm like, the only thing I could think of that I changed was putting my money in my name. And then when I go get a bucket, it was all cool, bro, at one point in time. I swear to God it was. Till... Like, stop trying to shit on me when I can just fuck myself. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are we shitting on each other for? Like, then you gotta use another bitch to help you out with the shit you want part. Like, that's cool. You need to ask yourself when it's my turn. Y'all like how viral you go on and how you go on with her, right? So when I put a nigga in position to be rock nigga, and I'm his bitch. Oh baby, you thought this hurt me? <laughs> Didn't have another baby follow. Cause right after I cracked this one up, what's up? And then marry that nigga. Like, like I'm not, I'm not gonna do what y'all to. But that's what you're trying to prove and nobody need to, like, come on, y'all. Be for real. Real shit. Be for real. Get into the merch, though. Link in bio. He mad because he, and it's the thing, I'm not saying he need my money. He got plenty of money. That's the part I don't get. Yeah, and it took forever for me to get my license, so yeah. I could have probably been had a call, but it's just like, why I gotta wait on somebody that wanted want me to wait on them like that? Like, bro, you were petty. What the fuck? Then he trying to tell me I spent every money I made because I don't even spend money. I don't. I don't. I don't get luxurious clothes. I got a couple chains and a watch. That ain't nothing to compare to what I made. What else? And bracelets. I'm grateful for those things. Amen to that. But don't try to use those gifts as manipulation, like. Oh, you know you spent what? An Uber. Oh yeah, for food. So I eat, I Uber, I got a couple chains. That ain't shit to what I made. So it was just like, and it's nothing about what I made, it's what we made. Okay, what we made, it's a we thing. I just don't understand, and I don't understand. Like, yeah, you don't need me. You don't need my money. You don't 
But why was I financially abused? Why was I like it's certain things I want to say and talk about, but I don't want to get too technical because I'm gonna ruin his image. No, nigga, we're talking about it because you want to talk about it. You want to tweet about it. You want to cry about it. Let's talk about it. You gonna go No, it's not that. I'm saying of course we're cool. We have to stay cool. So yeah, we're cool, but we ain't that cool like we used to be. Like every time he if I see him, he jerk, right? He try to make me feel bad over what happened. Like he always be like, "Yeah, but you did this to us. You did this to us. You did this to us." And I'm like, "Man, so what the fuck did you do?" He said, "All I did was cheat. If you get an eighty percent good nigga, eighty percent, give me eighty percent. What the fuck? You gave me what you gave me on schoolyard, and you gave me schoolyard. You didn't give me Jonathan Porter. You didn't. Okay, okay, we get it." Like, I can't hear him talking back in my head, so I'm just like, let me stop. <laughs> like, I don't know, okay, let me be honest. So we got this little thing, right? So since he been at okay, since since you know I've been moved, I moved out the house, you know, he moved his family in or whatever, right? So um every time I have these like uh panic attacks, because I'm gonna be honest, I'll be having panic attacks, I'll be feeling like I'm scared and shit. And he uh that's what I'm saying, he's not all bad, he's not all bad. I be having these panic attacks and I'll pull up in a black shirt off front of the house. And then wait, the truck will pull off, and I'll wait till he pull out his driveway for me to get in his car. And then I'll see whoever in the window looking at me, and I'll be right in the car, and we come to my shit. And <laughs> what I, what, the reason why I say that is because, like, it's something real there, bro. <laughs> like, 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 this nigga love me, yo. <laughs> Like, like right now, right now, like say I, I take the line, I'm getting the car, and go to wherever he's at, and I'm like, Blue, I need you. No, okay, who you with? What you doing? What you doing? Right now, he just say, all right. That's that's one thing I do love about him. <laughs> like, it's just I don't know, I don't know how, I don't know what that is. Because it's been times when like, yeah, I'm doing a lot on my own, but it's getting so overwhelming because I haven't did this on my own shit in a minute, right? So I had like, like PTSD or something like, I don't know. I'd be like, and the only person that could calm me down is like what I love. And I learned so much, it just, it helps. Unless I don't feel nauseous no more. I don't. It's just, I just need a hug. And it's not any old hug. It's a hug from him. That's the weird part. So then we put on this live print on the ground. I don't even know what for. Because a long ass time ago, right? Before it got real bad, I used to ask him, like, what's up? What's in your world? Like, I used to ask him about. I ain't even gonna get into that. I might wanna get we we might go live and talk about that together. So but like, hey D Simone. I'm talking about some bullshit over here. Oops. But uh oh codependency? What's codependency? What's codependency? Like when you depend on somebody? 
or is codependency codependency a spiritual thing? Because and nothing wrong with him. He he's he that what he's really cool. Like I can't. I can't. Only reason why I start started the way I started the conversation was because like I saw his tweets and they pissed me off. Like, boy, why you tweet like that? Why are you lying to people like that? What is you doing? Know? Because we are moving on, but I'm not spitefully moving on. I'm spitefully moving. You know, I'm not spitefully moving. I'm, I'm moving like gracefully, like, okay, while you spitefully moving, I'm gonna just make sure all, like, everything I have to get done, get done on Krishan. Like, you know, Krishan, this is your responsibility. Like, take care of that, take care of that. So I start taking care of my responsibilities and kind of like, Kind of fake drawing a line like no you can't take care of that person because it wasn't it wasn't even taken care of it was just <laughs> codependency is like you're thinking for yourself and not what it What you say, Scotty? You all like stop talking about him. No, uh, he will stop talking about me. I mean, I, okay, that's the other thing. I started this because if I didn't tweet what I said about drinking a lot, he wouldn't have did all that other shit. But it's like. I'm sorry, but I'm being honest. Like, why didn't you, hey, babe, you don't got a drink. Let me eat your pussy. What you mad about? What you, what's hurting you? He didn't know that I'm drinking? It's just like, I don't know, bro. I know, like, I, uh, I ain't even trying to say what I know because I'm going to be quiet. But I just know that shit ain't right. Yeah. <laughs> like that, bro. No, in the beginning, okay, in the beginning, before we was like real relationships, like we was in relationships, like before we was in a relationship, he used to tell me, why are you acting like I'm the only nigga you want to fuck with? Yeah, yeah, you should have friends, you should have friends. So I was like, all right, fuck it. So I had a couple people that, like, like just people I kept in cahoots with, like just being cool with them. They, they cool, they, I'm attracted to them, but. It ain't not so much, yeah. So, but we texting and shit. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure them out. They trying to figure me out. Ooh, well, well. So it got to a point. Like I remember one day he checked my phone. He wasn't okay with that, and I'm just like, "But you just told me I got friends." Well, name my bitch. You can't know, no, that, 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 that. We school y'all crib, right? So I'm like, oh, okay, okay. So then I started saying, oh no. So he cut back on a lot of shit. But it wasn't enough for me. Just like as if it wasn't enough for him. Like, he like, I went from five to seven to like one and you, or one or two to you. Okay. Let's see how that worked. It didn't work at all. So when it, didn't work out. I'm the bad guy. Like, what the fuck? And then the speaking and geeking and shit, it's like kind of confusing because like, how are we sneaking and geeking and um, stealing our feelings? That's not sneaking and geeking. I don't even think sneaking and geeking is natural. Like, it's toxic as fuck too. 
not good for the brain, body, spirit, and mind, nothing. Just sneaking and geeking. You're sneaking and geeking about it. Like, that shit is not funny at all. But since I made that tweet, he cut me off for good now. He said he's going to stay away from me. <laughs> That's fine, because like, when we used to get in beast, right, he used to be like, yeah, I might not be home tonight. Yeah, he used to flex like he ain't coming home. But the only thing, it was the only reason why I was hurting me because it was his shit. But if it was my shit and he said he's not coming to me, to my shit, cool, you don't got to be in my shit.